So nociceptive pain is a, a type of pain where the pain signalling pathways are intact. Um, nociceptive pain can be thought of, um, can be divided into two major time courses, acute pain and chronic pain. Um, acute pain is pain which occurs for three months or less by definition. Chronic pain is pain that uh, occurs for three months or more by definition. It used to be six months, it's been reduced now. As I said before, the most important thing is that the pain signalling pathways are intact and that uh, differentiates nociceptive pain from the other major type of pain, which is neuropathic pain or nerve pain. Um, in that type of pain, the um, pain signalling pathways are actually damaged and dysfunctioning. Some examples of uh, nociceptive pain, well, in acute pain, probably one of the commonest things is uh, acute post-operative pain. So the pain that you would have if you wake up after an operation, for example, which you would obviously expect. Um, or for example, if you've been in an accident, whether it's falling off a chair or being hit by a vehicle, um, road traffic accident, chronic pain, um, by far the commonest types of pain that we deal with uh, would be spinal pain. And within spinal pain, it's the lumbosacral spine, the lower uh, back, which uh, is the commonest problem, followed by the neck, cervical spine, followed probably by the thoracic spine. We also deal with a lot of joint pain um, and uh, the common ones that we deal with there are shoulder pain, um, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain.